Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at a teammate, Bart933's deck that he brought to the top 16 qualifiers last weekend. And out of all the decks that I saw, this is one of my favorite ones. It plays heavy into control, but it still generates tons of points and it just feels very comfortable to me. There were some versions going around of Guerrilla Tactics that I didn't like quite as much because they had Saskia and a lot of stuff had Deploy and I didn't find that those decks were getting the best value out of it, but this one, it doesn't have Saskia and it feels pretty smooth. Now, it utilizes the Venadane combo with the Alyssa that I think is just a little bit more suitable for the deck and a little bit more suitable for my playstyle. So this is pretty much it guys. The idea of the deck is to stay ahead of your opponent at the end of every turn so that we can accumulate value on the Erendite. So damage an enemy unit by zero, then boost the lowest power allied unit by the excess damage dealt at the end of your turn. If you have more points than your opponent, increase the damage by one wherever this card is. So whether it's graveyard, hand, or deck, this will be gaining value. So we start off early in round one with maybe some harmony plays like Percival or one of the Dryad Fletchlings, for example, and then you want to play additional tags like the Ethereum. you want to play you know, other stuff we don't have on the side of the board, right? That also has harmony. So in a perfect situation, Percival goes down, Fledging follows that. Maybe we play a Dryad Ranger. We take maybe a Willow or something like that. And then we complete a Poison. Now we have a bunch of engines on our side of the playing field. If you don't want to go gold heavy, start with Ethereum. And then towards the end of the round, go take Chameleon. And this card's really cool. I actually revealed this card when it was released. Deploy Infuse Self with the random Scoytel primary category that you don't control. Order Replace Self then reduce own base power by one. So what you do is when you have enough engines that you decide that that should be enough to carry the round, play this card. And then next turn, you can click it to replay it. And you're getting constant procs of all your Harmony engines on the board. But you're also able to proc the Lake Guardian that will likely be in your deck at that time, right? This is a card that you're not going to be holding early on, I would hope, because it doesn't play for a lot of value in early rounds. So we get as many procs as we can with Chameleon, and hopefully some positive points on the board in the meantime, and it contributes to just a better play later on, right? One of the combos that I find is just too strong to ignore, Venadane with Alyssa. Obviously being able to create a couple waylays with this card, play a couple waylays the same round will contribute to a lot of points. We're talking about nine points per waylay because we get the extra three points if Venadane's on our side of the playing field and not locked. And then we can shuffle in the two waylays from our graveyard and then take Simlas late game and play a total of four waylays. It just, it's so much control that can help us get rid of a lot of the opponent's engines and really contest around. So with that type of control, with the leader into the Milva control, right? Being able to damage an enemy by one, and then we can essentially do it again. It's quite nuts, right? So two damage off this, helping with two damage off this. We're killing four power engines, and we have the ability to do that three times with Milva. So I like it quite a bit. We get the thin there as well. So being able to chip at engines, to chip at engines, we have multiple tall punish, assuming we get to use Erendite twice throughout the match. Just a lot of control here. Poisons to help if they go super tall. The poisons can play really well into monsters or yeah, syndicate if they're playing one of those uh, townsfolk or bincy type decks. The poisons can play exceptionally well into Syndicate Poison when they have, you know, self-poison stuff going on. And we can go and complete those poisons and get more value off the opponent's play. It's quite nuts, right? So this deck just seems to have everything. This deck feels very competitive right now. And I definitely recommend trying something like this if you want to climb in Pro in 10.8. Now, one thing that I think that the deck could benefit from that it doesn't have would be Heatwave. So I'm not opposed to adding something like a heat wave in here. I don't know what you would substitute. There would be consideration to take out Milva, but that's tough. It's a really tough one. I like the utility that Milva has, but 
I think that the deck could still win games without the Milva play if you wanted to make room. I don't think we take out Erendite just because we get a lot of value from Erendite in a deck like this. And I don't think there's really much else that we can afford to take out of the deck. So that's why I guess he didn't put Karathi in the original deck. However, I do think that it's something that you can probably add in if you'd like to. And this is probably what I would remove in order to do so. So that's pretty much it, guys. I got a bunch of games in Pro Rank for reference today. And if you enjoy the content that you see today, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll make sure I upload his deck on playgwent.com so you guys can import that if you want to give it a try for yourself. And make sure you stop by the Twitch this week. Be the rest of the week until Friday. We're doing live streams at 11 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time until about 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. GMT minus 4. We'll see you then. Let's get into the games. Have a good one, guys. All right, so first up here, we got what looks like soldiers. We just put Milva back. And Late Guardian, we don't want to see in round one. Obviously, not even round two, so we'll put that back. I don't like the fact that we're on blue with it, but it is what it is. Surely we just play something like that then to start small. I don't know if it's going to be soldiers or if it's going to be cultists because I've been seeing some cultists going around with this leader ability too. And when they boost everything up, it, it really makes it difficult to get rid of things. But it will give more value to the way they play that we have here. Alba Pikeman. So yeah, chances are it actually is what we think it is here. We just take a poison on that, don't we? Yeah. It's got Harmony too, so I think we're supposed to keep it nice. They might have Jouts, so I'm going to boost it up just in case. Yes. Okay, let's see here. Melee for poison. The wood shall turn against you. Yeah, I could just very well push it back. However, I don't like the armor on it. It's going to make this a little bit difficult to get Milva value here, right? What we could do, I guess, would be something like that. kind of wait and see actually I don't want to use leader and then have it just awkwardly sitting on the ground Milva would just be there because this would be destroyed right we wouldn't have a target I have to keep a couple units with harmony for later so and Therians one maybe Percival I mean we have a few right Vilg doesn't work like that. Okay. We could probably just start proccing Harmony here. What you want to do is have something in the grave, right? So you could put something in the grave. But we didn't have anything in the grave first. So they probably had an idea of what they were doing, but they didn't uh, prepare for what we were supposed to do. You know what I mean? So it looks like obviously run free, which is actually not a big deal. Uh, 
That's pretty decent. I'm willing to go and play the Venadane here just because I know that we need to. We'll put uh, we'll put these two back in. Yeah, I think that's it. Because I can play two more turns. Yeah. We'll see if they have a lock or not. This is Barricade. So I might actually go and strip the armor off this just to get it going, but it does feel kind of slow and it's contingent on them continuing to play soldiers, so it's not a great feeling. Maybe we just sink it in for actual points with the waylay, because we are behind after all. Here. And we just want to go for as many harmony procs as possible because it's playing into our carryover, right? I guess I can go as far as playing Alyssa if I have to. Normally I wouldn't like to play Alyssa the same round as the Wele played just so that we don't brick, let's say, Simlas. But because because we've got um, most things. Actually, I'm surprised we got the pass here. And it's at eight. Maybe I bleed in with scenario. Teller goes, ah, this is too much. I don't have a way to actually finish the scenario. Right? That makes it pretty tough. I guess it is what it is. If I didn't have the brick in hand and I had maybe one harmony card, I probably would have played in. Seeing Rune Mage on a pass is actually pretty nice. I think they tried to thin out soldiers from deck, but they didn't have a soldier on the board. Probably something like that. Okay, we got pretty much all the win conditions I'm looking for. I have to play one waylay and then funnel back the other two. Or I could just use put this back in deck now and just put the one back might be better i've got everything we don't want to pull this i don't want to pull these i think we have to leave it i've got the one and the two we got tons of harmony stuff let's just keep it the way it is right now opponent goes first yeah but we'll go with um we'll just cramp scenario Okay, that's not a big deal. Look, because that's the first thing out there, I want to really set a standard in the round. We'll go play this now, but I want to remove that engine because the long round value for that's horrendous. So we'll go and just take it out. And because they have Renfrey's gang, I don't believe I saw 26 plus cards. So they have no way to answer this scenario.
We get to get the most value off of um, Percival as possible, so we'll play that shortly. If I were to go in with Onero, it'd probably be for what, a poison? What? Yeah. Okay. We'll take, uh... Okay, they know I'm gonna remove this. That's fine. Alright, so next up here we got Nilfgaard Imprisonment. So again, a couple things we don't want for round one. We don't want to see Erendite. Obviously, it's not going to be worth a whole lot early on. Same thing goes with Lake Guardian. And we can fix the whole waylay thing. Let's put that back. That looks pretty good to me. They're going to go to take a leader charge if I play Venadane. However, we should probably still play Venadane. But... I could open up with something like a fledgling and that should be fine still. My name. I don't recall. You gotta wonder if it's a simulate, because what else would it be with this? I don't think I care about Abandoned Girl. We can just play something else here. Maybe we can get the first leader charge out of the way. Because the Ethereum's crazy. Two engines essentially for five provisions. So I like to stop those when I can. Cultist, okay. That's fine, I guess. Can't play Venadane. It's got to be something like Cat. Yeah. It, I think it could just be Cat. Cat's proccing the, the tags and all that too. You know? Yeah, we'll infuse it. And then just break all those chains off, right? You know it's cultist at this point, I just don't know if it's golden neck or cultist, because they got the roach in here. And the decree, right? Kinda has that look to it. Whenever you lose a round, return to hand, they're trying to get card advantage and everything. That's kinda gross. Here. Let's see if we can get uh, one leader charge out of the way. We gotta put this back, really. I think Weeping Willow can go back for now. Well. I guess Willow is something you can just keep here. Boost that up. If they want to replay Venadane, by all means, go ahead, I guess. Right? Whenever they lose round, go ahead. They're really pushing hard for someone who doesn't... Who wants to play a card like this, right? Here. I don't want to do it. But I should. I wonder if they're playing that instead of Nova. Okay. This kind of makes it weird for me, right? We got to push this back, otherwise we lose a lot of value. Do I ever just let it go?
might just let it go and say forget about the quad waylay we'll just do the one you know the one pair there okay we actually get away with it that's fine this looks like golden necker already though for sure Seven. That's good. That's good. That's like everything we want. Ah, uh, the problem is, okay, Alyssa doesn't do anything now. I guess I could take one Whaley back. Three, six, seven. They have my Venadane in hand. I have a seven here. They played the Xavier. I don't have to worry about this getting clogged up. Maybe we bleed in with this. But this probably goes still. That's a bit better. Higher point ceiling on it. Maybe let's just dump this and see what happens, yeah? Take this, sure. It continues to grow. I'm really glad we got Xavier out of the way. I, I don't expect anyone to have Xavier and a squirrel. Okay. That's not horrible. It doesn't have a tag. Let's play something else with Harmony. Here. I'll use this so they don't lock it, maybe. I gotta... I gotta stay ahead for Erendites. Five. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, Percival comes down. Done. Good. Yes. Um, Dorf? I guess it's like they have so many things that they'd want to lock. Was a good choice. We still get last safe. We keep it. Two engines out of the way. Four point play feels kind of bad. It's still playing into Erendite though. Unless I boost self by the unique primary categories among units you control. One, two, three, four, and five. That's kind of a huge push. And then they use multiple tall punish. And that kind of keeps us looking pretty good. Then these last three plays are just enough, I would imagine. Because they use the N. Consideration to take this and because we get the extra point. Yeah, it's just building value here. Let's go. We've come so far. Yeah, there we go. 2-0. Okay. 
And the last game, they just decided to quit. So we got Dryad Ranger. It's not bad here. We could put that back. Okay. Two chameleon kind of greedy if we're going first, you know? Here, we'll try something like that. The fact that they're poison more than likely is good for me because we have like complementary poisons. I think we just We gotta proc harmony as much as possible, so we'll go with that. Pawn turn to that. Will they spend five coins? Okay. I'm not overly concerned about a brawler, really. I want to see if I could save Percival for later. But at the end of the day, it is poison. It is poison, right? This might not get as much value as we think. I'm inclined to spend these though in round one, so maybe it is saving Percival. If I was going to spend Percival, I probably would have played him already. That's just the way it is, I guess. We already have a dryad out there. I might consider putting... Okay. We gotta have some engines going on. Beast curse, this, that. Okay. Maybe... Yeah, maybe it's the other play here. Back, I just want to get this play over with. I got a tempo so that we can keep getting value for Erendite. Put Percival back so I can play in and not feel bad about it. And then the Cat Witcher is not really doing much for me besides proccing the Harmony. But we could do that with the Chameleon, so that feels fine to me. And they use the locks, so chances are they don't have a second one. And then we can just go ahead and play Waylay and get the most value from that before they poison out the Venadane. That's really not a big deal. This might get another boost, putting it up to 6. So we'll see if we can get some good waylay value there. And I'm not going to take a TA just because I find... Um, no need to go tall for no reason. I might actually swap this out for Crystal Skull. I'm thinking about it. Just in case we're, we are playing against the Odd Poison or we're playing against Nilfgaard. Having that Veil could be... Interesting. It could be kind of like a win condition. 
for those early rounds. The fact they played three of these already is crazy. Sure. You see, I get the three that I'm looking for now. If they poison this again, I'm going to add a poison to it. Probably just boost this. Doesn't work like that, but sure. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take this out. I think. Just because it's like their most efficient spender, right? They want to dish poisons to my side. And then we still have a poison removal if we need it. We could finish the kill here. And then go in with Chameleon and sort of go like that. How much harmony do we have? Nothing really. So if we're playing Chameleon and clicking, we're actually losing points. Alright, this kind of makes it easier for me, right? We go with the ranged poison. <sighs> this is good value, right? It's getting rid of the two, three. It's not doing anything else, though. I'm going to leave it. And if they use Gellert again, I have another poison, so it makes it that much better. Do I even care about Siri here? I want them to think that they can get away with using Gellert because we don't have anything to finish another poison and then them just getting unlucky when we play it. I think that's going to be one of the ways that we can get out of the realm pretty easily. I take that. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, never mind. Use of treants. Maybe I don't know. This feels too valuable not to play offensively, you know what I mean? No, 
We'll just put those back. It really comes down to how far they're willing to go to get it, right? Pretty far. I need a four that I can kill off. Maybe it's maybe it's just this anyways. We get the extra point because the vitality. And then I think I'm supposed to take this. It's carry over as well. I expect them to be able to take it. Aaron Knight's just too crazy, though. Ten points by round one. Are they just gonna spend everything? They use the full leader in that. Better. They passed it's a huge problem. But they probably won't because they literally spent all the coins to get ahead. So for them to pass here, it feels kind of like you, you'd think they'd just go for it with the eight points already on the board. Good. Okay. I guess we just play Simlas then. I don't love the idea, but we break one off the shield. I could always just I could always just try this first though. And then just take Arendite, stay ahead, and see what they do. Cause then we don't have to get that back, it's fine. Might have to take it. Yeah. That's too bad. My reason to travel, I mean. You know, I could still win the game. If we could thin out well enough and get scenario, it should just be pretty good. It's kind of a waste of important cards, though, if you think about it. Actually, here, if I go two, 
I could put her back in the deck. Get a little extra point boost later, and then just kind of flex with that a little bit. Sure. I have a little bit of an advantage because now Milva goes back and we get the extra couple points. I need Lake Guardian. I need... Mysteries? Yes. Okay. Erendite, of course. I think that's still going to be... There's just so much potential to get stuff I don't want, you know? Okay, we just win. They don't have anything. Alright, we got Stockpile Siege coming up here next, and... I like it. <laughs> I love playing Siege. I'm going to have to do some Siege soon. I've been playing it off of YouTube, but uh, we'll do another guide soon. I, I really like it. Here. Muta Generator Siege, we have to win. Okay. We'll do the Percival play, I think, early on. Yeah, here, here. I, I can't deal with that, so let's just actually play some big things here. I'm going to turn that off, but I'm going to also wait and see what we can do with it. I feel like I'm supposed to be getting this down. We'll put um, poison and okay, the poison can go back. And at this point, it's probably the cat witcher. Yeah. I don't expect them to go and like they might have something that can chip that away, but I, I'm feeling pretty safe about it. Here we get really good trades on this now. There we go. I'm not afraid to float it because it sort of takes away from their play after they went and taken the the generator, right? And we're just getting ridiculous trades on on some of this stuff here. We'll do a harmony proc. That's kind of annoying too. If they spend two of these though, it's two of them that they, that they don't have for later. So I think I'm okay pushing this. We'll take that, and then we'll just kill this one. And then we just go in with something like that, right? Makes it very difficult for them to come back, and if they want to get ahead, they probably have to take full test pride early, which is the big thing, right? So I can put this down at place for seven points. Yeah, we'll do that. No more leader charges though. We need to save the rest for later. Actually, we'll do this. It's better to play first. We want to play down as far as possible too, right? Because we have the Aaron dead at six now. It's at seven. I could probably bleed him with scenario two. They have a lot of five provision cards, so I'm not anticipating a squirrel because they want to fill up those five piece lots. So if I can get out scenario, maybe Henselt, that's probably for the best, you know? Okay. That's perfect. Like, that's the hand, yeah? 
best we can get here. Let's try and play around Siege, put that in the front row so they don't get the passive points in the back. They've played a lot of cards in at 5 provisions, so they're going to get a lot of carryover. Nice, okay. I actually could remove that. I'm an officer, I'm a gentleman. What if, um, what if I kill this one off, and then I take the last Milva to force them into doing something they don't want to do? We take this, right? Because it's an order. We take that, of course. Are we going to play a special? Actually? That could be crazy. That could be absolutely crazy. I'm going to keep it here just so we can make sure it stays alive. If I put the Alyssa and do the Sim last play... We're getting literally a million times the points. Like, it's going to be nuts if I can pull it off. But if I do that, I don't have anything left. Let's see. It might just be Chameleon then. replaying this card anyways. I think I'll just boost that while we can. So they use the Onero. There comes the rat of it, okay. We're getting the boost back anyways. Gotta be careful with that. This goes back. Aaron Knight's at what now? 12? Okay, 13. If they don't go for it, we're just doing so well. Okay, that's fine. Goes back. Yeah, we're all in, guys. We're all in. Here. Please. Okay, let's see. Why should I, an elf, a sage, converse with an ape? Good. Range roll, good. Okay. Now, range roll again. I guess I'll just hit that, fine. And then replay this, come on. Harmony prox. Now, if it's Hensel, they could probably get it. Otherwise, I don't think they can. And we're getting back the sword in hand at 14 points. It's kind of a big deal. It's definitely Hensel. There we go. But this will take, like, all of the leader, I would think. Well, maybe not. Okay, maybe. They get one charge left. Two, three, four. Yeah, they get the one hit off. <laughs> I think that was worth it. I honestly do. Because we get last say confirmed with Erendite worth 14. 
And if I could somehow pull off the point slam play, if we can draw it. Okay, Milva has to go. Lady for Onero for that. I think that's just the way it is. I have to play this. It really comes down to do they have Heat Wave or not? That's a lot of points here. Yeah, so look, I gotta play. How are we gonna do it? 22 points. I can get rid of one of these engines though. I can I can do 14 points. I can literally just get rid of one of them and play it a little safer. On the 12 here. Yeah, it's a boiling oil. Well played. We deny all the points here, so we just go, we take, uh... Yeah, we got it. 